video from the one and only Sham. So listen now, let me um let me just tell you all this little piece now. Um apparently the person that I used to go to to get my hair done, I talking about one of the most bestest hairstylers that I've known very young very talented young lady but for some reason you know um, circumstances beyond her control she's not able to do my hair so I was searching around for you know to get a good hairdo I like to be pleased and satisfied with what it what it is I need done because I spend in my money I'm not rude with people but I'm very firm and gonna let you know what I like and what I don't like okay so um you know I had the hair plot a few times and I say you know I want to um you know plot it back down again leave it for a while because normally I would leave it in for a few months and then loose it back out you know so I won't have to be dealing with all that chemical and stuff like that and um the person who did my hair I find her to be very talented also in the fact that um, she styled my hair a few times, my own natural hair, and I think she did a very good job. But um, she never put the pieces in my hair. Um, after putting the pieces in my hair, um, this probably isn't quite two weeks good yet, but it's probably heading for two weeks. Anyway, I'm exaggerating. I'll say three. This probably heading for three weeks, okay? And some of the hair start coming out. You know, you feel like the track, the track is then, you know, like when you touch it, it feel bumpy. Like you on a, you know, like when you riding on bumps. And, you know, I very politely um, called her and I, I told her how I felt but this morning after you know um, taking care of my hair <coughs> pardon me I was brushing and a piece of the hair came out and then another on the other side you know it just just it was to my satisfaction and I called her and I told her you know for me being someone where my husband deals with customers you have to know how to satisfy your customers then you have to also know when people just trying to put one or two on you okay and I tell her and you know I think she was being very cheeky with me instead of saying you know Miss Morris I hear and I understand what you're saying what to do is come back I'll look at it and then you know go from there listen to me I don't play I pay $75 for this then I had to buy the hair and everything you understand what I'm saying so you know I simply said to her, I said, listen to me. It's a particular way that I like for my hair to be done. When I'm spending my money, there's certain things that I like in order. As a matter of fact, that's how I operate. You understand? So all of this cheeky thing that you put you in the middle I'm not interested in that you understand the only thing I want you to do is satisfy me by saying all I need is a simple you know I really do apologize 
I even ain't asking you for the money back, you know. I asking for the money back. I's a good customer. Listen, I say that to say people learn how to treat people the way you want people to treat you. Do it in return. Don't be mean and nasty with people. In this world, we have to live with people and we have to treat one another with respect. You understand? If you want me to come back to you or you want me to recommend someone to you, how do you expect for me to do that when you don't know how to handle or treat me? I don't operate like that. So I'm saying to you, my YouTube viewers, you know, um, let's learn how to treat and speak to people and be very respectful to others as you want them to respect you and so I leave that with you today just to tell you about um, someone who I had a different perception of until I challenge her by not being satisfied with what um, she had offered me and so with that said um, thank you so much for your time and attention and share subscribe and like and I will be more than happy to share another video with you take care and God bless you